Hi, my name is Dr. Bidayani from Kuatatura, Indonesia. Actually, we have uh, two different types of projects, basically, for private sectors and also uh, government sectors. So, uh, the most interesting one is uh, the tallest is the uh, Grand Samaya in Surabaya. It's 50 stories. It's a 50 stories residence block and comprises of uh, five blocks, five apartment towers, and connected by uh, bridge, connecting bridge. Material is on eye level, so the mood ambience is uh, depends on our uh, on eye level. The perception issues become important here. The tactility and others. But first of all, usually we we will uh, consider about the colors and textures. That's the most important thing for us. The tactility of the material itself. There are two materials also, the high technology materials and also the medium tech material. There is a material that should be manufactured with a high technology one, like BIPV. But the second one, medium tech and low tech, can be developed by community here. Bricks and uh, tiles, cement tiles and bamboo and others. So we should know both um, potentials. If we develop the uh, tall buildings in the city center and other things, we should uh, consider the, we call it urban heat island effects. So we have a responsibility to you know, have a design innovation to ensuring um, the temperature of the city itself. But when we design the uh, stories or homes, we should consider the uh, material with a good uh, sustainability footprint, carbon footprint, with a plastic cooling system. Sometimes at this moment, we always use the AC and other, other things. So we have to balance between the passive cooling and active cooling with those materials that uh, we should innovate by design.